everyone. Today is Saturday, January 2nd, 2021, and we are reading from 1 John 2, 1 through 10. Let's read together. But suppose someone does sin. Then we have a friend who speaks to the Father for us. He is Jesus Christ, the blameless one. He also paid for the sins of the whole world. We know that we have come to know God if we obey his commands. Suppose someone says, I know him, but this person does not do what God commands. And this person is a liar and is not telling the truth. But if anyone obeys God's word, then that person truly loves God. Those who claim to belong to him must live just as Jesus did. Dear friends, I'm not writing to you a new command, but I am writing what amounts to a new command. Its truth was shown in how Jesus lived. Suppose someone claims to be in the light, but hates a brother or sister. Then they are still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light. So I want to highlight a key verse here, and that is in verse six, those who claim to belong to him must live just as Jesus did. And that means we need to obey God's commands. That's how Jesus lived here on earth. He obeyed God's commands. He was upright. He did what was right all the time in God's eyes. Jesus was fully God and fully human. He was perfect. So what is the main command that Jesus tells us to follow? What is God's number one command here on earth for us? You can find it in the book of Matthew. It's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and all your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Loving others. That is the main commandment that God says you must obey this. If you don't obey this, you're a liar. If you don't obey this, you're not really following me. And so, how do we do this? How do we follow this command? How do we love others? Well, first we have to know where does this love come from? What, what is this, this love? How, how does this love inspire us to do these things? How do we show this love? Well, first, we have to think, live as Jesus lived. How did Jesus show love? Jesus did one of the most unimaginable things for us. Jesus loved us so much that he died on the cross for our sins so that we can have salvation in heaven. God loved us so, so, so much that he sent his own son to earth to die for us. We were separated so long by our sin from God and God didn't want us to be separated from him anymore. He loved us that much that he wanted us to be with him forever and for all eternity. And that is why Christ died for us so that we could have salvation, so that we could live with him forever and ever. That is the gospel. That is the news that we want to spread to all the people around us, including the people who are still in darkness, right? So the gospel, this wonderful news, this love that inspired Christ to die for us so that we could be together forever, that's the same kind of love that needs to inspire us to love others so that they can know this same gospel news, the same amazing, wonderful news. And so it makes us think, hmm, wow. So we can, we love, right? We need to love our neighbors as ourselves. That doesn't just mean we love our family or our close friends or our Christian brothers and sisters. That also means, as is mentioned in the passage, we love those who are still living in darkness. And living in darkness means they don't know what they're doing. They don't know that the way that they're living without God is wrong. They don't even know what it means to live with God. They don't know who God is. These are the people who need Christ's love all the more. They need to know this gospel message. And so let's think about a life application here. Have you ever met someone or had an experience with someone who made you upset or made you angry or <laughs> made you so upset that you felt like you didn't know if you could forgive them because of how upset they made you. And maybe this person doesn't even know what they did to make you upset, 
but you are just having this issue with this person and you're like, ah, it made me so mad. I don't know if I can forgive you because of how mad I am. Well, I know it's hard to forgive others. I know, from personal experience, I know. Um, when I was I think, 12 or 13 years old, I had a game that I played all the time. I don't know if you guys have heard of Animal Crossing. I played way back before the Nintendo Switch had it, before Wii U, before 3DS. I played it back on the old 2DS. And oh man, I logged hours, days, months of progress on my little town and I like had all the trees and the fruit and all that stuff. And my little sister, who was maybe six or seven at that time, came, started playing my game and she deleted my town. All that work was just gone. And whew, I was mad. I was livid. I was so upset. And I was like, I don't know if I could ever forgive you because of how upset I am. <laughs> little, little 12, 13 year old me, you know, just like so mad. Um, yeah, I didn't know if I could forgive her. Of course, eventually I did because she's my sister and I love her. Uh, and that love that we have for our family, that love is what helps us to forgive. And then if I think about, wow, what did Jesus do for me? Jesus forgave me. Before I even asked for forgiveness, he forgave me. When I think about what Jesus did for me on the cross, when I think of what Jesus did for humanity, for us, can't we forgive our siblings? Can't we forgive the people around us? Even especially those who don't even know what right living is? So that is how I want to encourage you guys uh, today from here on out is to spread God's love, to spread Christ's love, to live as true Christ followers. That is how we should be living. To shine God's love for all people to spread that gospel message and to spread it for God's glory and God's glory alone. All right? Okay, let's pray together. Dear God, I thank you so much for what you've done for us, Lord, for sending your son to die for our sins, God. God, I pray that that message never, um, never grows old for us, God, that every time we hear it, every time we hear the gospel or spread the gospel, Lord, that it just creates this new vigor in our hearts, Lord, that inspires us to follow you and to live like Christ did, God. Um, Lord, I just pray that uh, you continue to inspire us, Lord, especially at the start of this new year, God, that you just, um, you know, create in us just a fire, Lord, a passion to spread your word, Lord, and to draw closer to you all the more, Lord God. I thank you, God, for each person who is watching today, God, and that you would draw them closer to you as well, Lord. I pray these things in your son's precious name. Amen. All right. Bye-bye, you guys. See you next time.